guys, my name is Laura and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please welcome. I know the Duku is not looking, but what's my Zimbabwean culture without a Duku? So please guys, forgive me for this Duku because I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to. Anyways, and also forgive me for my hands because I dyed my hair with my beard. So today we're talking about our Zimbabwean culture, the processes, the right processes that you would want to take if you want to get married. So I will start from the courting process until you guys have paid Lobola and you are now married. So the first thing first that if you find your boyfriend, your right boyfriend, and you guys decide to see we are now taking this to the next level, you are now in a serious relationship, the boyfriend has to take you to his aunt to his auntie's place. And the boyfriend explain to his auntie that auntie this is the right girl for me i've decided that i want to marry this girl and then the auntie now takes the story to the boyfriend's father saying ah sure our child is now grown up he has decided that he wants to marry and then the father gives the permission to the auntie to say i let them come so you and your boyfriend you now go to your boyfriend's place for proper introductions after you are introduced today you also have the right to inform your auntie auntie me i found my right i found my right person who wants to marry me and i also want to introduce the person to you so you now go with your boyfriend to your aunt right and then after you reach your auntie's place the boyfriend has the right to say good auntie me i'm ready i want to marry your child so auntie will now take the word to your father you don't take the word directly to your father it's nowadays i'm at 2000 that we do that but we are not allowed to say it directly to our fathers the auntie has that role if you don't have a present auntie you have to find someone who can be in the auntie's place you understand because like you telling your father direct it's like disrespectful in our culture so at least someone has to tell your father so after that uh, your father will give the permission to the auntie to say ah let them come so that i can see the boyfriend so when when you are like when your auntie is told that the auntie comes back to you and, and your boyfriend and tells you the day that your father would want to see you so that you guys can go for proper introductions after you are introduced you are then given a grocery list your boyfriend is given a grocery list by your auntie and a date set for the day for your boyfriend and your in-laws to come and pay Lobola. So now the boyfriend's in the boyfriend's relatives are now preparing for the Lobola day because they are now given the go ahead by your in-laws and they are given the date, they are given the grocery list. You don't just buy what you think that uh this can this and this can work for the day you are given a certain list by the relatives of the girl so that you can buy the property so after the relatives are done with the preparation they now go back to the auntie to see that we are ready because we we don't want disappointments guys maybe they figure out something in between they would want to inform you but ah, it's a chawi, but it's very disrespectful because you had taken the right steps you could have decided before so they will now inform the auntie that we are ready to come so when they are done with the preparations they just come and then they pay their lobola mind you someone who can represent mukwasha can come if the, the mukwasha is not present at the moment he can send someone to represent him it's not a problem in our zimbabwean culture maybe you are busy with work maybe you are occupied you can send someone to represent you as mukwasha but it would be right for you to come by yourself so that you can get to meet with the relatives and stuff so the mkwasha comes and then they pay their lobola. After they're done with their lobola, you now, as the woman, has the right to go to the to your in-laws place, but you are accompanied by your auntie and by your sister, whether it's your auntie, your sister, or anyone else who can accompany you, but your auntie should be present. And then you go to your in-laws place. When you arrive, you see there's the gate, and then they, like, uh they like throw money at you so that you can come in you know it's our culture you don't just stand up and 
gates in the gates they have to like shower you with money because you are a new makoti so people will now shower you with gifts to welcome you as a new murora in the house so you guys that eat so if you'd want to get a like a proper proper white wedding you'd have to ask again for a wedding don't just get married because you had paid the lobola or you have paid the lobola you have to ask again for a wedding so that they can give you the blessings and they go ahead for you to get married so this is it for me guys i don't know if you have <laughs> gotten a little hint of my Zimbabwean culture as before. If you are looking forward to marrying a Zim girl, please make sure you like this video, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. To my, to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.